So you are using presentations for your business or classroom, and maybe you want to, I don't know, add some video to it, add some text, maybe give it some transitions. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that using Adobe Spark video. So don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel. I am Claudius where I share tips and tools on how you can share your story. As I mentioned at the start, I'm going to show you how you can take presentations that you've created maybe in PowerPoint, Keynote, Google Slides, take those images, bring them into Adobe Spark video, add text, add your own voiceover, some cool transitions and really spice up those presentations. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the computer. So I've already started a project. I've already imported several clips. Now what you want to make sure to do is when you export your PowerPoint or keynote, whatever is each slide should be its own separate image. You want to make sure you do that so you can bring them into Adobe Spark video. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and add to this clip a photo, which will in essence be one of my uh, slides from my presentation. So let's go ahead and look for that image here. I believe it's going to be that one there. Perfect. I'm going to be talking about photography tips here. This is kind of my presentation. So as you can see, I've added several clips already for my presentation. Now, if this is your first time learning about Adobe Spark video, I have an intro video you can check out in the description below as well as up top. Now, what I'm going to do now is add my intro video that I created for this presentation. So let's go ahead and hit onto that folder and this should be the right clip now let's make sure that i add my whole clip i've already uh, trimmed it ahead of time i'm going to go ahead and click save and now this video clip that i created i used my phone to do this I'm going to import it into my spark video now what i'm going to do is actually add kind of a text overlay this is going to be my introduction and as i mentioned this is my five uh to say top five tips, let's see, top five photography tips. And um, I added an extra plus one. And you can resize this and bring it over. Let's do one more. And then what you can do is grab that text and bring it to the corner. Let's see, there we go. And I think now maybe I'll leave it at that size. And now what I'll do is click the plus sign here. And this time I'm going to choose a split screen here. And the reason I'm going to do that is this is going to allow me to add a video clip and text on this same slide. And what I'll do here is I have a clip where I uh, will talk about the actual uh, tip that I'm going to be using. So here I'm going to bring this in. And this is the first clip, I should say first tip. And I've already, again, trimmed it. I'm going to bring it in here to my complete video. So now I have my video clip with my eyes closed right there, kind of funny. And what I'm going to do now is right here, this little speaker, I'm going to click on it and choose loud. This is gonna make sure that my voice in this video is louder than kind of like the music playing in uh, the background. And then next here is I will click and add the actual tip that I'm going to be talking about. This first one uh, is, I should say, tip number one, and this is rule of thirds. So now I've added text to go along with this video introduction. So I'm gonna move on to the next clip here. So now on this clip, there's actually no audio. This is just an image that I brought in for my presentation. So what I'm going to do here is press that red microphone icon and narrate over this clip and basically give uh, information about what's happening here. And then I'll move on to the next clip. So let's go ahead and do that. Press record. This image is showing the application of the rule of thirds. Now I'm going to move on to the next clip and add some narration here. When you overlay a rule of thirds grid, you can tell that this picture is following the rule of thirds. So what I'll do is continue adding narrations on the additional clips that you see here. 
and then add one of those split screens like this one here at each point where I'm going to highlight a different uh, topic or tip and just continue on until I finish the video. And then finally, when I'm done, I will choose to download the video and have a finished polished video using the presentations that I created either in Google Slides, PowerPoint or Keynote. And that my friends is how you can add voiceover, background music, text, transitions to your presentations using Adobe Spark Video. I hope you learned something new today, something that is helpful. If so, let me know by adding it in the comment section below. If you have any questions, feel free to add them there as well. Don't forget, hit that like button. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel and click on that bell to be notified for future videos. Thank you again for watching and uh, keep creating out there. And as always, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.